So hello, uh, my name is Fardad. I'm a, um, a second year medical student here at McGill. And I'm here today to interview Dr. Caratzius, an infectious diseases specialist on behalf of MedScale. Uh, so medscale.com, that's for uh, an online platform for the medical community to learn and thrive. Uh, so here we have Dr. Caratzius. Um, why don't you introduce yourself, please? Good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Christos Caratzios. I'm a pediatric infectious disease specialist at the Montreal Children's Hospital, uh, the McGill University Health uh, Care Center, um, or the Glen site as we call it here in, uh, in Montreal. So, uh, since you're an infectious disease specialist, why? What's so special about infectious diseases? <laughs> well, I think uh, I don't need to uh, tell you what's so special about infectious diseases. You can you can hear it all over the news. I think it's um, it's a very exciting field in uh, in inf in in um, in medicine. Uh, you know, if you look at the um, whenever you're in medical school, you look at you pick up a medical textbook. The, the largest chapter is always infectious diseases. Uh, it's not only learning about our body, but it's learning about um, a whole other kingdom of organisms out there that, uh, that affect our body uh, positively most of the time and negatively as well. Uh, we can hear it, uh, we're hearing it all over the news now with the uh, novel coronavirus outbreak. Uh, but it's not only just this, I mean, you know, we do other things as well. Um, this just happened to be a little bit more spice in our, uh, in our, um, in our excitement over the last few weeks. So, infectious diseases seems uh, very exciting. So, uh, I was wondering if you could just uh, talk about um, the speciality as a whole, the, yes. the residency, and what you can do during residency and afterwards, right. please. So, you know, as I mentioned, infectious diseases is always, to me, it's the sexiest, uh, it's the sexiest um, uh, specialty out there. But, you know, on the other hand, we're, ve we're detectives. Um, so I like that, detective work. Um, you know, if we were, if we were uh, a branch of the army, we would be the intelligence division, the spies, uh, the detective works and this and that. So I think that's always very exciting, to me at least. Um, I think that uh, infectious diseases forces you to not pigeonhole yourself into one uh, body system. You have to know how all body systems work. So it's a very holistic type of um, uh, specialty. Uh, we have to know how the brain works, how the lungs work, how the heart works, the intestines work, bones, blood, because infections happen in all of those systems, uh, organ systems. And uh, so we're pretty well-rounded in terms of our medical knowledge. We have to be, you know, we're intellectual. We have to be very on top of things and read constantly. So it's very rewarding because we also do see, um, you know, if we do our job right and we have control over and we have the right type of pathogen, uh, then the patient gets better. You know, we do see the fruits of our labor. Uh, during residency, so you can't, you know, you have to do something before. Your base is either going to be internal medicine or pediatrics, which is internal medicine for kids. And then you, you know, you, you become um, a resident or a fellow. You do a fellowship in infectious diseases. Um, it depends on your, uh, your university center. Here in Quebec, we have microbiology and infectious diseases, not just infectious diseases. There's two. You know, you choose to be just an infectious diseases doctor or you be a microbiologist. And if you're a microbiologist, then, you know, you, you get to learn a lot about um, how to run a lab. You get to learn a lot about the, the you know, molecular techniques and molecular biology and, and, and all this kind of stuff. And um, the residency is different. Uh, you have less chances for electives when you are in the micro program versus in the infectious diseases program. The micro program is three years. The infectious diseases program is two years. Uh, I myself started off in the micro program, but I didn't like the fact that I didn't have a lot of electives and I wanted to do more HIV, uh, pediatric HIV care. So I actually flipped over uh, midway uh, into the infectious diseases program. And so, um, it, you know, call us from home all the time. You rarely go in, but of course, when you have you know, outbreaks like this, then you have to be ready to go in. Uh, you have to be vigilant. 
um, and you have to you have to read a lot. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot to memorize, a lot to remember, uh, but it's rewarding. And um, the lifestyle is good. You know, as I said, call is from home. You can handle most things by the phone, um, and uh, you know you rarely get woken up at night. Uh, if you do, it's because somebody really has a question, a very serious question. It might take you half an hour to figure it out, but you know that's that's it is what it is, right? We're we're doctors. Okay, that's great. Thank you. And uh, did you do your residency here in uh, in Montreal and yeah. medical school here as well? Or? Yeah. So I did undergrad microbiology and immunology here in uh, in Montreal, and then I went on to become to to get into medical school. Um, I did my 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 residency here my fellowship here, but I did a research fellowship in HIV, pediatric HIV in Miami. Okay. Um, then I came back and here I am right now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, is there anything else you would like to share with the um, uh, medical community across Canada? Um, is it just medical residents that are listening, medical doctors or medical students or anyone? All of them. All of them. Wash your hands, don't touch your face especially right now uh, and be vigilant and uh, you know for medical students out there who and for residents who are looking at career um, options do what you love pursue what you love eventually you know you know we are capped at certain you know certain places you know yo we don't we don't we don't need enough we don't we don't need infectious diseases doctors here we don't need um, you know cardiologists there we don't need nephrologists here do what you love eventually you will you will fit in the place where you want to be whether it's in your city or another city um or uh you know your hospital or another hospital um do what you want to do of course if there are no jobs in a certain um uh, specialty you might want to think of doing what you really really like and not love but um don't base your final decisions in life on whether or not there's a there's an opening in in this hospital or in this city for a certain job. Um, you know, moving laterally afterwards is easier than having to go back and do uh, fellowship or residency to once positions do open up. Thank you. And uh, speaking of going back, if you could go back to medical school or residency, is there any one tip that you would give yourself? Or one Myself and well, you know, I would do the same as I'm doing now. Um, however, probably there are some times during medical school where I could have been less stressed um, about final exams and uh, learn how to pace myself in terms of studying because there are many times where you know you would study two or three days before the final exam and that was stressful. Uh, probably I would have uh, in a, few, a couple of cases if I remember correctly I could have studied uh, weeks in advance. So study a little bit every night uh, and uh, you know you will be fine. Perfect. Dr. Karatsios, thank you very much for your time. It's highly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much.